All right, YouTube, so today we're working on a 1990 Chevy pickup. One of the issues that we're having is this ignition switch is super hard to turn and it doesn't like to go all the way off. So I'm gonna show you guys what wires it takes to hot wire this truck and therefore wire in a new ignition. We're gonna go right up under here, under the steering column and you will find up towards the top these two plugs. There's a black and a blue. From those, we're gonna cut off the pink, the purple, the reds, and the orange. Those are the wires you need. The two reds are constant hot. They're hot from the battery. The orange is switched hot. If you turn the ignition, it sends power from the red to the orange and turns on the fuse box. The purple sends power from the red to the purple to start the engine. The pink sends power from the red to the pink to turn on the engine's computer Fuel pump coil and allow it to run. So with that information, if you want to hot wire this truck, you run power from the red to the pink, which turns on the engine's computer, and then you touch the purple to the red, and that turns over the engine and it will start. But if you want your lights, radio, accessories, etc., to work, you need power going to the orange as well. Two reds, pink, and it will touch the purple and it should start. take off the pink and it kills it alrighty guys so I messed up a tiny bit you see in here there was two grays going back to this plug that came out from the top of the steering column well those two grays send power over to the fuse block for this row which has the radio and the windshield wipers which we need to work so I'm back down here, I'm reconnecting the gray and I'm going to combine it with the orange. Alrighty guys, so this used to be a little pocket up on the dash. Cut the back off of it and made a little U-shaped piece of metal with the ignition switch in there. So now this will mount back up there. The hole in the back allows the wires through. Our connections are for the battery, which was the red start, which was the purple, ignition, which was the pink, and accessory, which was the orange. So extend your wires up and connect them in that order. But I didn't have those colored wires, so I just had to connect them down there, feed them up, and I know which colors for which. So, now that I've got all my wires hooked up, we can go ahead and do a little test. Backwards, should be accessories. Yep. Forwards, should be everything on. And then we crank it. And the vehicle starts. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this dash put back together, but before I take off and end this video, I just want to say, believe in your God-given hands, take on some projects, build, fix, create. I thought this information would be really helpful to people, maybe you bought a truck without the keys, went to an auction, picked one up, maybe you're having ignition issues like we were, you want to bypass that stock ignition and stick in an aftermarket one, maybe you're doing a race truck or a mud truck build and you want to put it into an aftermarket ignition. So there's the information. Hope it helps somebody out.